Pennsylvania and Penn State, traditional gridiron rivals since 1890. Music plays a merry tune for Quaker fans as he tears 47 yards to a touchdown. Penn strikes up the band as music cuts State's lead to 13-7. The story of me and Penn football really begins with where Penn is today. One has to wonder where does football fit within the scheme of an increasingly complex institution like Pennsylvania. The single biggest change other than facilities and the lack of interest watching Penn football is the fact that the undergraduate program today is in fact world class. We ask more out of our student athletes today than we ever have. We ask them to commit to at least 10 months of training for a season that may be 12 weeks. Now what's changed over the years is A, there's recognition that being an athlete is a personal sacrifice and if, if a student is going to make that sacrifice the university has a commitment in return. Another significant change in athletics and probably in every aspect of life is more and more emphasis on finding and developing human potential. Anyone that comes to the Ivy League realizes that uh, the aspiration is not to be an NFL player. The aspiration is to be the best athlete you can be while getting the most out of your educational opportunity. Penn, when I grew up, had 70,000 fans in Franklin Field. College football, after the war years, was where people got their entertainment. So we had all the football fans in the city that wanted to come to Franklin Field. That all changed when we decided we had to step away from a national level football program and be part of a, uh, an Ivy League. Where we had 70,000 people in Franklin Field, we now have 7,000 people in Franklin Field. So it's still high level football with faster, stronger, talented people but they're playing for themselves, not for a, a large fan base. It was very, very different, which makes what we're looking at today so exciting to someone like me. But we're still challenged by the fact that intercollegiate athletics is still a very small subset of a very complex institution. I knew when I stepped off the field that I would be committed to staying with the program until it achieved championship levels. I would not be involved in Penn football if I'd not had such a disappointing undergraduate experience. It was traumatic. It's not fun. It's not rewarding to commit to something and fail. There are two levels of failure. There's the failure as an individual. I didn't accomplish what I set out to accomplish. We didn't accomplish what we set out to accomplish as a team. And I was bitterly disappointed with the support of the university. And I made a personal commitment as long as I was able, I would ensure that no one went through a similar experience. Well, I was a rec recruited athlete at Duke. I ended up with a medical condition as a senior in high school that required uh, surgery that prevented me from taking advantage of Duke. There was a certain uncertainty, and a northern boy going to the south just didn't seem to make sense.
I'm not sure we've changed a lot over the years. I think when you have success at anything, that's how you identify. An athlete always sees himself or herself as an athlete. That's the toughest part of being at a university like this because of the desire to be the best one can be. One continues to think as an athlete first, as a student second. One must be positive in life in order to get through life. One must accept the fact that the failure may not have been College Hall or the coaching staff. Uh, it may have been a personal failure for not training properly, uh, not being properly focused. So I only said I, I lived through it, I learned from it. I now have a lifetime to test whether I'm right or wrong about commitment levels, personal training, and myself. And I've come to the conclusion it was a combination of my own shortcomings, but the university clearly played a role. We believe that football and participation in football is an educational experience in itself. And we believe in family, friendships that are made in those four years typically do last a lifetime. The trajectory of the football program is a real concern. So is it possible that someday we'll be at a lower level? It's distinctly possible, unless we make a renewed commitment to compete at our current level, but continually grow at that level. I think the pendulum has swung to an extreme, but I think that pendulum will swing back because we're wearing out people, physically and mentally. Was the team experience valuable? The answer is yes. Well, what made the team experience valuable? It's giving to others. That's where I get satisfaction as an athlete. That's where I get satisfaction as a human. It's being interested in people, caring about people, helping other people have fun, grow, learn, develop, realize their potential.